Hey guys, this is Ajax22 on the scene here in Bangkok at the protests. Just uh, managed to get in, got the uh, three bulletproof vests using the x-ray film. They were in fact 700 baht. I asked 800, um, the other guy asked 700, but uh, I think he wanted me to negotiate down, so, you know, it's fun. Anyway, um, didn't film the actual transaction because I didn't think they would be cool with that, but it's not like it's hard to find, and uh, got three of them. One for uh, the collection and two for destructive testing, so, yeah, score, I'll, uh, do a, a more detailed look at them once we uh, get back to the hotel room. I don't want to be like doing that here in public. Um, still kind of looking at me a little funny. Big white guy that just walked in asking for the bulletproof vests. So, all right, be right back. Hey guys, we managed to get the uh, vests home safe and sound. And by home, I mean to the hotel. Um, haven't actually managed to get them into the U.S. yet, but uh, that comes tomorrow. Um, yeah. What we've got here is your standard uh, plate carrier. That uh, they just stuffed full of x-ray negatives. Or, uh, it's not bonded. It's not... Uh, glued, it's nothing, it's just cut to the right size and stuff into the uh, slot. Uh, I don't know if we want, can make this out, but uh, some of these pelvis. I don't know if we could actually get these in the US. Um, they have patient identification on some of them. And I think that would be a, a hiss, pretty serious HIPAA violation. But um, if the material works, then I don't think there's anything all that special about the, uh, the plastic they use for this. Um, and if it works, it works. It weighs a lot less than a Kevlar plate. Um, at least, you know, my ballpark... Uh, random estimation seems to be that it's uh, quite a bit less. Um, we'll put it on a scale when we get it back. Hey guys, Ajax22 here. We're uh, in the armory back in the good old United States and uh, yeah, managed to get them through customs, no problem. Apparently they, they don't know what to make of a bunch of x-rays going in your carry-on, but uh, doesn't actually throw up any major red flags. So, they're here. They're complete, and uh, now we get to play with them. We can use one for the collection, one for our own testing, and I'm going to reach out to the guy over at the Box of Truth, see if he wants to shoot the other one of these. That uh, could be fun. Anyway, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see what we can do with these. Have a good one.